everyone, Beverly Garland here, location independent artist and creator of the Artist Power Hour, a support coaching group to get you from procrastinator to professional. Um, coming to you from a cool summer's day in rural Michigan, and I have another tip for getting unstuck when you're having difficulty sitting down and creating art. Um, one thing that can come up when, especially if you're doing art for somebody else or uh, you've kind of got a, a deadline, whether it was imposed on you or you have a commission that somebody's waiting on or um, you have a, a client who's contracted you to do some art, sometimes it can be really hard uh, to feel motivated because it's not really your baby, it's somebody else's baby. Well, here's a trick that I found. Um, that helps a lot with just getting motivated to do something. Um, when you sit yourself down in your space uh, to do the, the work, the artwork that you want to do, um, just take a moment to kind of get connected to why you're doing that art piece. Um, the why uh, th that goes beyond just, you know, because you want to have the money from the commission or the contract, you know, the, the deeper why, the, the why that really means something to your heart. So, you know, sit there, take a deep breath, and think about your client. Um, how are they going to feel when they get this piece of art uh, that they've entrusted you to do, that they're looking forward to having for their use, their enjoyment? Uh, maybe it's going to be something that furthers their business, their success. Maybe it's something they just want to uh, enjoy for aesthetic reasons. Maybe it's a piece that you're going to hang somewhere and a lot of people will see it and just just kind of get connected for a minute to what that's going to mean to them and how it's going to feel to know that they are happy that with something that you created, that you created something that brought some kind of um, joy or um, usefulness or empowered them somehow because uh, you forward, forwarded some goal that they had with their uh, a nonprofit or a business or something that they may be needing you to have done the artwork for. So uh, and another way to get in touch with that could be, um, well let's say maybe you're doing, a, you know, we're be doing children's book illustrations or um, you want to paint a mural or you'd really love to do portraits, um, why not uh, draw a little picture of that uh, and post it in your workspace so that when you sit down to work you can look at that and be reminded of what you're going for, What stay uh, in tune with the big picture. Um, I remember doing that, uh, I worked very effectively when I was working on my master's thesis. You know, sitting down and writing, uh, academic work was not exactly the most creative endeavor, but it did require a lot of focus and attention, and a lot of times I just did not feel like sitting down and doing that. But I had a couple of little pictures pasted to my wall above my desk. Uh, one was of a diploma in a beautiful frame uh, to remind myself what I was going for. Also uh, a book to show that that's what I was writing. I was writing a book, and then I had some pictures of uh, the beings that would be the recipients of good things because of what I was doing with my thesis. So that just reminded me of why I was doing it uh, from a higher perspective than just because I was required to. It wasn't, I'm not just filling in blanks uh, to reach some prize. It's like there's a, there's a meaning behind what I'm doing. So that's what I needed to remind myself of and it always, always helped me get started. And, and once I got started I really enjoyed it because I was connected to the why. So I'm encouraging you to connect to your why when you sit down. And um, if this uh, has a good effect on your ability to uh, get started, if it changes your work habits, if it improves it any, I'd love to hear about the results and what your experience was and how it was different from how you used to do things. So leave me a, a little update in the comments. All right, so this is Beverly Garland, creator of the Artist Power Hour, a coaching group taking you from procrastination to professional, and I hope you have a great evening.